Hi guys, welcome to Bardak Tutorial. I'm Viola and today we're going to felt this baby penguin and I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process of creating it. To create this baby penguin, we will need white and blue wool, a little bit of pink and yellow. As for our tools, we'll need our felting pad, three different size needles, and of course our eyes. I'm also going to be using this three needle felting tool. It's really convenient just because you can speed up the process of felting. So just to save some time, we're going to use this. Also, I'm going to use the finger protectors so I don't stab my fingers accidentally. And this cutter for wool, which I use typically when uh, I need to get rid of some details and get rid of some excessive wool. Okay, let's start. First, we're gonna take a little bit of this blue wool to make a head. So, I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna fold it. We're gonna start with our cutting tool. So, what you do is you insert your tool and take it out without without rotating it or anything. So just to make sure that uh, you're not gonna hurt your needle. Just in and out. Of course, you don't have to use this tool. You can just use the large needle and go one poke at a time. But I feel it way more convenient to just give a use to this tool. Just keep rotating it to make sure that you're getting actually a round shape and not over felting from either of the sides. Okay, in the middle you can just take it and kind of move it around the palm just to kind of shape it up a little bit. At some point it's going to get a little bit hard to insert the needle and that's when we're going to move on to the next size of needle. Right now it's kind of like a little soft ball. You're gonna take a large needle, just one of them, instead of three, and just kind of poke around, just to hit the spots that it's getting hard to hit with three needles. Now let's move to the next size, just to make it a little bit tighter. So we're five minutes in and we have this semi-soft ball and we are ready to make a face. So to make a face you have to select the side that is uh, not as round because we're gonna keep the rounder one for the back just because we're not gonna fill there much more and I would go probably with this side it kind of looks more flat so for the face we're gonna use a little bit of white wool and what I found really useful is that when you create a face then it it is easier to kind of outline it first so what I would do is I take a piece of white wool and start outlining the shape first the shape of the face so I start from the center and make my face to the sides kind of felting the wool around my needle and then pushing in so we're gonna make something like a, pretty much like a heart shape. Just make a little bit more of a gap here. So because this part is gonna go into our nose part. So we're gonna keep felting. Okay, it doesn't really look much of a, like a face yet, but we're gonna take a bit more of the white wool gonna add up the layer to the parts to the inside part so again we put wool like this over the bowl and then starting from the center we're just gonna push it in try not to go outside of the shape to so keep this shape but felt it more like inside uh, to completely cover the blue wool so we're not gonna be able to see through Bottom. 
be careful when you're working the edges don't push your needle too hard because if you push it too hard you might break it so just kind of slightly side and in and try to make shape symmetrical from both sides as you see right now this part is more round than this part so to make it symmetrical I will have to add more white wool Just add a little bit because uh, it feels like the more wool you add, the harder it is to work with it later. So just add little by little. Go down here, make this bridge. We are finished with the face. So what we will do is to make this surface smoother and make it nicer, we will take a little bit of uh, blue wool. Spread it around, so a little bit less. Spread it around, make it like really, really thin layer, and cover it all over the head. Don't worry about the white part; we still can control where we felt and we don't. So then you take the smallest needle, and you're just gonna well really lightly, just to create this um, outer surface level. Really lightly. Don't don't insert your needle fully. Just a little bit. It's completely up to you how much time you're gonna take to actually create this perfect shape. But I feel like we can stop somewhere like this right now. So this is what we have. So right now it's time for us to create the beak. So take tiny little piece of yellow wool because it always feels like you need more but in, in the end you end up just having a huge beak. In fact we just need a little tiny bit of wool so it's gonna be something like this pretty much. It's like almost nothing. Then you fold it pretty much like the same way as you folded the head. You fold it into like a tiny little bowl. As soon as it's ready, you can even do like initial felting with your palms. So this is something like this. This is how we should have it at this point. And then it's gonna go here. So before it goes here, we will felt it just a tiny little bit. We take the smallest needle and we felt it just to keep this shape. Times. So we need it to be like an oval shape. So right now we have something like this and we're gonna put it right in front of the nose bridge. So we're gonna hold it with one finger and start felting again from the center. Just do once in the center and then just kind of like walk around and make sure it sits in place. So it should sit right below the nose bridge. This face mask. Okay, just felt around. Make sure you don't make it flat. So it still should be a little bit out. And shape it around the same way we did the mask. So it might look something like this at this point. So you need to do a few steps inside. the center too just to make it look not too flat but kind of look like a big again you can modify it the way you want for myself I feel like this is the optimal shape so this is what we have and now we're gonna create two little points for blushes but before we do that I would rather figure out where we do have our eyes. So I would assume one eye is gonna be here, another one gonna be here. You can practice around with it, just kind of make a little hole, insert the eye and look if it, if it looks the way you like it. For myself, I feel like this is probably, this is probably, I think it's cute. 
So now we're gonna have two little blushes. So for blushes, I know there is quite a lot of wool in the package, but all you need is pretty much this. You make two little balls with your fingers. Probably this is even too much. It should be like almost nothing. Because you don't want to have blushes bigger than the cheeks. So, so we're just gonna create two little balls and put it right next to the eyes to make it look nice and cute. As you can see, just insert from the center and then shape around. Do the same with the other side, just make sure they are approximately the same size. Remove wool if needed. Just start with the small, you can always add wool. It's easier to add wool than to remove it. Right now we're gonna create his body. And we can either start with the blue wool or with the white wool, doesn't really matter. Just take a little bit more wool than you did for the head and repeat the process of folding it in but this time try to create more of an oval shape. Okay, let's start with him. Try to leave one of the sides kind of like not felted much, so it's pretty soft. So when we're gonna be connecting to the head, we're gonna have extra wool here that we can actually felt. So it's not gonna be too hard. Make it flat from the other side. So poke a few times just to kind of make it stable. So we can put the penguin on top of the desk and it's gonna be standing like this. It looks fine. It doesn't look that smooth yet, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the white part first and then finish felting with a smaller needle. So we're gonna take a little piece of white wool, just again, pull it off. It should then take a bit less. So first, as the same way we did with the face, we're gonna outline the shape of the belly. So pick the side that kind of looks not as, kind of looks flatter. So for me, it's this side. Start from the top and we're gonna bring it like this and make something like a, like a water drop shape. Shouldn't take too long, right now we, we've been felting for like five minutes when we started with the body, so it shouldn't take too long. So it looks something like this right now, it's kind of like a really fluffy belly. <laughs> At this point, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a smaller needle and just walk around and make sure that it kind of sticks better to the blue wool. And there are no see-through like here. So we're gonna be adding wool, we're gonna be pretty much doing the same thing we've done with the face. Okay, so as soon as we got it to this shape and we're kind of happy with it, we make sure that the size fits. And then we're gonna Take a little piece of white wool, spread it around, make it flat, and cover this belly with a top layer of white wool just to make it look more smooth. Like if you compare the head with the body, you can see that the head is much smoother than the body. Body looks kind of rough. So we're gonna be doing the same thing with the belly and with the body later. So the body is pretty much done, we just need to repeat the same process with the back. So we take blue wool this time, spread it around in a really thin layer and cover it up and felt it in with the smallest needle. So at this point we're gonna have uh, 
pretty much ready body don't worry if you have some little fluff around we're gonna finish it up a bit later so next step is to connect body with the head to do so you just put them together take the smallest needle and kind of walk around and poke the fibers inside to kind of mix them up just do one full round then flip it but this time felting the body fibers into the head and make sure that they both are connected and they're exactly in the place where you want it to be so it should sit pretty firmly so you're not going to be able to pull it up so as soon as it's done body and the head connection is finished so we put it aside okay next we're gonna create two little flippers for our penguin so we're gonna take wool we're gonna separate it into two equal parts and we're gonna felt them the same way we did previously try to felt it as tight as you can just to see what the size is gonna look like approximately and if this feels too much you're probably going with the wrong side so in my idea this is a little bit too much so I'm gonna unfold it I'm gonna take some little wool off and do the same with this piece so something like this should be more than sufficient and I'm gonna fold it tightly and I'm gonna start working my way with the smallest needle should look pretty much like an oval shape then we're gonna be adding like this so it's gonna be it's gonna be something like this today I'm not even using the finger protectors I usually wait until I stab myself first <laughs> and then I wear them okay so as soon as they look something like this the top is nice and soft we can try to position them the way we want So also you need to make sure that if you want your penguin to hold something then the hands should be a little bit longer than normal so that way we still have some extra space here to actually connect the object so something like this looks good to me again start with the shoulder just kind of make sure that they're symmetrical so what I usually do is I put the toy in the back I see the lines where it should be located and then I just start talking from here just knowing that this is my shoulder position and hold it and make sure that it's same in the front and just felt it in the same way you did the last one So we have it like this right now and we're gonna create two little legs for our penguin and should be done so take a little bit of wool again don't go over like you see how much ex excess of wool i have right now and this is completely normal this way you can make sure that you have enough wool if you want to create a couple of them or you want to practice more or you want to create some other toy the way you want to have it and start you can here you can either start from the center or from the sides I would prefer to start from the side so that way I would know how I position it and make sure that they're actually locating located where I want them to be okay same situation as with the beak you just start felting then you start doing the center to make it to flatten it out a little bit. Okay, this looks nice and cute. Then attach the second one.
I hope this video was helpful. You can get your kit online on bardock.com or Etsy. I will leave the link below. Hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below of what animal you want to see next. And see you in the next video.